For Mark D'Antonio and his number two ranked Michigan State Spartans, every day counts the same. But Tuesdays are circled on the calendar as the start of major preparation for the team's next opponent. After a win over the Air Force Academy in week three, D'Antonio and his staff have shifted their focus to a familiar in-state foe, the Central Michigan Chippewas. Each day every morning I get in here and uh, basically I do what everybody else does. Uh, you know, I sort of make a checklist of what needs to get done today and uh, just overall sort of a to-do list and then um, outline our staff meeting. We'll have a staff meeting here at 7.30 this morning and um, you know, go over a practice schedule and things of that nature at that point in time and, and then break from there and then, uh, you know, move to the defensive staff meeting, check in with the offensive staff, staff and, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much my morning. Every week what we try and do is um, take a systematic approach to what we're doing. Um, you know, there's a lot of organization that goes into, um, you know, a game and, you know, running a program. And I mean, we have a staff meeting every, every day to, to just sort of try and get everything scored away. We try and go as quick as we can because, you know, it's always a race against time around here. But uh, uh, basically we need to be at our best when we get, when we get to practice. And, um, you know, right now is sort of the, that, that planning period. You know, our defensive staff, our offensive staff are in planning right now, and then they'll break, take a break here at 7.30 for about a half hour, and, um, and we'll get things sort of squared away for the day. As the morning progresses, business starts to really pick up at 7.30 as D'Antonio and his staff come together for their daily meeting. Good morning. Potion, anybody got one? Snides. All right. Okay. All right, all right. This is food for thought. As we sit here in week four, you know, we're ranked and the, the stakes go up. Bill Gates, success is a lousy teacher. It makes smart people think they can't lose. And then John Wooden for the day, publicity is like poison. It only kill you if you swallow it. Okay, good size. Real quick, team eat 215, five. Punt and dogs are up 15, one minute to change, so seven and seven. 235 is unit for 40, 315 is horn. 20 minutes, 335, 10 five. You got punt, you got to work clubbing them by, you got to work those three things. Just like we did, and then you got two. So you got two minutes backside protection, three minutes the other. I thought release and accelerate was important too, just to get them to. Yeah, all three of those. Them. All three of those. Release, accelerate, club by, and then net. net. Okay. okay. Following that, we'll go to a subgroup area there. Want to do Dallas drill, Dave? There's a lot of check downs, a lot of sticks. Um, we'll go do releases. Harlem, we've got to do a yeah. good job releases. Do you want to do anything O-line, D-line? Mark? Yeah, we can do that reach. 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 All right. Any questions? Good. Following a morning filled with planning and preparation, D'Antonio steps away from football to tend to a busy media schedule, starting with his weekly press conference. Preview Saturday's game against Central Michigan, head coach Mark D'Antonio. Thanks, Sean. Uh, real quick, uh, looking forward to uh, to the challenge that Central Michigan brings to uh, the campus here on Saturday. Coach Bottomago, I think, has done an outstanding job since uh, being named there in the spring. When you look at Central right now, I think you see, uh, first of all, I think their quarterback, Cooper Rush, from Lansing Catholic, uh, makes it go for them. He's got great poise, but uh, been impressed with what they've been able to do. They've had opportunities to win all three games. They're one and two right now, but opportunities to win both against Okie State and against Syracuse, so they've played some Power Five teams. And um, you know, right now we're three and zero. I have, I don't think we played our best football yet. With that being said, we need to focus on the moment. But I think that our pass has given us a little bit of a um, footprint in college football right now. And so, people know who Michigan State is based on our pass. But with that said, Central will come in here ready to go. They have a good football team. How you doing, Amy? Good. What are we doing here? 
We're gonna take a uh, cover photo. I'm gonna have the two of you guys, Coach, you can stand right where I am right here. I'll be on the ladder. You're gonna be standing here shaking Amy's hand. Okay. Doing a cover shot for a magazine together. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Right. All right, Turf, awesome. Uh, Turf Illustrated. Turf. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and shake hands. Okay. Yeah, there, guys. Amy and her staff, do, they do a tremendous job with the turf. And uh, this, is like, uh, this is like her baby. So there's no question in my mind that she's going to do everything she can to make sure the turf is, is in playable situation and playable condition. Uh, and I really think that we have one of the, um, the greatest fields in the country. Okay, see you, Graham. Going over and uh, Got a Big Ten conference call is next. So. What you got going on? Yogurt? Yogurt? Let's get rolling here, guys. Practice schedule. Here we go. Real quick. Here we go. Grind it out. Grind it out today. All right? It's the same old thing. It's the same old thing. Same old thing. Okay? All right? We got uh, hard, but it's fair. That's the focus. Focus today. Um, when you walk in that, that uh, office up there, it's right there in front of you, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Okay, we got uh, ABCs to start off right after focus. So we're going to ABCs. Pro scouts are out there. Then they're out, okay? Then uh, with a special teams emphasis, we'll go backside protection, then short net. We'll work the three. Listen up. we work the three different drills there, okay? Three different drills. So we'll work the speed drill, acceleration drill, the club by, and then the short net. Okay, then the different team periods, Pascal, we'll go team pass on that, we'll do a game time period. There's some similar things that we'll experience from Central, at least offensively. And so we'll, uh, we'll D that up a little bit and then finish up with the dogs and team period. Okay, so that's what we got going. All right, um, you know the deal, guys. You know, I'm not going to sit here and just talk to talk. You know the deal. You know what we have to get done. You got to focus on the moment on what we have to get done. We have yet to play our perfect game, yet to play it. All right. Any questions on what we got to get done? You want a video? Or is it getting old? Is it getting old? Tradition? What do you know about tradition? Okay. All right, here we go. Throw it on there. 45 seconds. Let's get rolling. We got punt up next. Go through the motions today, guys. Let's go. Got work to do. Got work to do. Right out of this, we're going to ABCs. ABCs for five. Then we're going to special teams emphasis. Stay in your individual if you're not involved in that. We're going short punt. Short punts where at, Mike? Short. Turf two. Turf two. T2. Here we go. Let's get it going. Who we got up? Ken Manning, call him out. Let's go, Jack. Moon. Here we go, boys. Big day. Most important practice of the week. Let's go. Huh? We're ready, Coach Manny. Hey, guys, I'll tell you what. Get this right. Bring it right out. All right, make it loud. Make it loud. Bring it out. Boom. Jack's team ready. Ready. Begin. S-E-A-R-T-A-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
Good footwork, Kari. Right, good footwork. Listen up. We came out. We came out, guys. Listen up. We came out. You know, a whole lot of intensity. Not a whole lot of intensity. Okay. Now, as practice went on, I thought the intensity picked up. So we got better and better and better. Okay. Last out of conference football game so far. Okay. So right now we played a team last year won 13 games. Another team won 10 games last year. Another team won eight games last year. That's 31 games. All right. <laughs> This team is also a team that's gone to a bowl games. So we played four teams that have gone to bowl games. Everybody understand? Okay, so they come here trying to do that. Now, from my standpoint, we didn't play as our best game yet, but we need to take the next step and get yourself ready to play and look forward to Saturday. Cannot get yourself ready on Friday night. You get yourself ready today, tomorrow, and the next day, and you look forward, okay? We look forward. But I saw enough people running around smacking people today to feel like we're going to be all right, and we got players. We got players. We got players. Okay? I'm looking at number twos and number threes. We got players. Okay? So step it up and move forward. All right? Focus on, with, on the opportunities that we have. Get yourself ready to go. Everybody good? All right. We've got 6.30 tomorrow because we're not going to, no rest for us because we're grinding. We're grinding. Yeah. No, no, we're grinding. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Let's give me a break. Who had it today? Who had it today? Here we go. Jack's got the break. Bring it in. Bring it in. Hard work out. One. One. Hard work. See you, coach. Another day of grind to get better. <laughs> well, first of all, Monday's always your big planning day, and then Tuesday for us is our big first practice, so we go through basic things on Tuesday. I thought it was a positive practice, did some good things, so, but we're gonna have to watch the film to see how that goes, and usually um, for the next two and a half hours or so, or three hours, we're gonna watch the film of the practice, and then implement new things tomorrow, and do another section of the game plan tomorrow, and it's sort of it's a carbon copy a little bit of today. Well, I think that the thing that you wanna do is you wanna try and, as a, as a program, you wanna try and leave a legacy. You don't wanna build it just for one year. You wanna leave it in, in good hands, and. You want to constantly try and strive to get better as you move through this process. Um, and that's what we've always tried to do. There's no different for any coach here or um, any administrator here. Um, this is what we do, and we do it to the best of our abilities. And uh, we've got a good, great group of young people that we, that we work with daily. And we've got some guys, we've got some players, but more importantly, we've got a great group of young people working to get their degrees. And then also, at the time of their life, you know, in college, and then uh, special time in their life and then you know the football aspect of it is so exciting for them so um, it's uh, all in the day's work I guess you'd say. Thursday September 17th marked the beginning of the MSU Athletic Department's sixth annual Celebrate Weekend bringing Spartans past and present to the Warden Center for the 2015 MSU Hall of Fame induction and varsity letter jacket ceremony. This year, former MSU football player Andre Risen was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Oh man, first of all, I would like to thank uh, God for giving us this great opportunity um, to be on this platform. Uh, I never dreamed of uh, being in the MSU Hall of Fame. Wearing the green and white meant everything to me. Well, my message is to all you student athletes out there, take care of your business. Take care of your business. Get that piece of paper, it means the world. It means the world to me, it means the world to our, our, your former alumni. Uh, when you can say that you graduated from Michigan State, hey, it, it moves waters. And it'll move more waters than uh, winning the national championship or being inducted to the Hall of Fame. Get that piece of paper. Thank you. Following the Hall of Fame ceremony, over 140 student athletes received their letter jacket, including 17 football players. So on. To get that jacket, it takes hard work, dedication, preparation, everything to get to the point where you can actually get onto the field. It really takes a lot to get to that point, and then you put that jacket on, and it really just brings it to life. What it means to be a Spartan to me is just you're a part of something bigger than yourself. You represent Michigan State University. You represent everybody that's comes here, that's been here, and the people to come. Like, just awesome, like, being part of that select group.
Central Michigan, just 70 miles away from Spartan Stadium. And Jason Strayhorn, when you're number two, you get everybody's best shot. And then when you play guys that close to you, and many of your players have played against them in high school, you could double that, can't you? They better be ready. The Spartans win the toss. They have deferred. Central Michigan will receive, and MSU will defend the north goal to our left. So here comes Central Michigan. Mike Zink, a senior from Toledo, and the kick is low. No good. Spartans at their 28. Offset eye behind Connor Cook. Play fake, low pass over the middle. Great grab, falling down inside the 30-yard line of CMU by McGarrett King. Heck of a throw and catch on the first snap from scrimmage. And off to Madre running that way. Blocked from Jack Allen. Gets to the goal line. Plows into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. From six yards out, Michigan State seven. Central Michigan nothing. Pistol formation, hand off to Walker, grab before he can get to the line of scrimmage. Craig Evans just picked him up and threw him down. It's down, it's blocked this time. Two field goal tries, still a goose egg on the scoreboard for CMU. Connor Cook with Madre to his left, hands to Madre London, running room off right guard. Madre London through a hole should have a first down 47 yard field goal try now for Michael Geiger. It's on the way. And he hits it. Just enough leg. Michigan State 10, Central Michigan nothing. Takes the shotgun snap on first down. Throws right side to Spalding. Trying to shake away from Andrew Dowell in a weak side linebacker. He can't. Michigan State with great field position here at their 48. Spartans lead 10 zip. Connor under center. Paul Lang, the tight end in motion, now offsets the eye right in front of LJ Scott. Hand off to LJ. Breaks a tackle, now another. 35, 30, he's at the 25, and the 20, and finally angled out of bounds by Kayvon Frazier. Josiah Price tight right now. Kings goes in motion right. Connor has LJ to his right. Shotgun snap, end zone throw. Caught, Josiah Price. Touchdown, MSU! At the Spartan 17, Central Time. Michigan nothing. It's balled into the right of Cooper Rush. He's in trouble, here come the Spartans, down he goes! And they're, they're taking no chances. Connor Cook takes a knee and they will take a 10 point lead to the locker room. And Darian Hicks at the corners. Snap to Rush, being chased. Shalik has got her on the ankles! Sacks him back at the 11. Shalik Calhoun having a day. The Spartans have needed a lift, and he's been the guy to give it to him. Connors in the shotgun. Play fakes to Holmes. Now sends it out in the left flat for Gerald Holmes. Makes the first man Gotta miss at the 15. Three. He's at the 10. He's inside the five yard line. High offset left by Pendleton in front of Holmes. Hand off to Holmes. Easy. Runs off left tackle into the end zone. Standing up, Gerald Holmes. Touchdown, MSU. The Spartans 24, Central Michigan 10, 8, 37 to play. Medium drop, rolls to his right, directs traffic downfield, throws downfield, caught by Anthony Fumble. Wright. He's hit, he fumbles. The ball Look scooped up by the Spartans. Heading down the sideline, guess who? Riley Bulla on this near sideline. And he's out of bounds at the CMU 31. Pendleton in front of Gerald Holmes. Hand off to Gerald, running left behind his blockers. Easy. Great patience inside the left pylon, into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. The Spartans 30, the Chippewas 10, 3 and 21 to play. Rush in the shotgun. Being pressured, oh, and he's Another being sack. sacked. Another Spartan sack, this one from Demetrius Cooper. The Spartans way too much down the stretch for the Chippewas as time runs out on CMU. And it's Michigan State 30 and Central Michigan 10. Every football game we play right now is gonna to be tough. You know, people are gonna get up for us. Um, you know, Central, Michigan State got a little history there going, but we found a way. 
Well, it's a new season now. You know, we're out of conference, it's done. We put that in the banks, hopefully that pays dividends. And we've beaten four good football teams. Four teams that won a total of, I believe, 38 games in last year. So now we go uh, to the Big Ten Conference. So now things start to really add up. Everybody comes here with, with a mission or we go on a mission either way. Um, we got to regroup, get ourselves ready to go, and start Big Ten play next week. Fight, 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 fight.